Hey there and welcome to another guitar session with Jason Carey. Today we're going to talk about Jesus, etc. Let's get going. Let's take a look at the eight chords that are available in Jesus, etc. by Wilco today. So we're starting with the D minor. This is a great chord. Uh, really sad sound, man. So open D, fret two on the G, finger, th finger two, and then finger three on fret three on the B, and finger one way back here on fret number one on the high E string. So that's a D minor. We'll start with that circled note. You can, oh, you can get this tablature here in the link. So uh, just take a look at the uh, the card up there and download the tablature. It's really uh, really beneficial. Eight chords: A minor, open A, circle root note, fret two on the D, third fret. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, third finger on the G, finger one on fret one on the B, and then open high E string. And what I'm going to do is arpeggiate the chord and be sure that. We're have all of the notes correct and I would encourage you to do the same uh, it's a great way to sort of just self check and then strum once you have everything in place the next chord that we're going to take a look at is B flat so B flat is fret number one on the B on the A string fret number one with first finger third finger is triple stopping the D G and B strings here okay so this is a pretty big chord you know it's a little challenging but we can do it I usually make sure that that thumb is right behind my left hand and it's spanning the distance between fingers one and three okay so it's easily distributing the power through the, the left hand fingers the fret hand fingers so there's the B flat and the F we're going for the full bar the full capo F first finger capo on fret number one finger one clamps all of those frets down on fret number one Finger three on fret number three, finger four on fret number four on the D, finger two on fret number two on the G string, and then finger one, of course, is nailing or barring the top two strings down to the fret number one. So again, uh, frets one, three, three, two, one, one. And it's in the tablature attached into the chord charts attached to this lesson. And we're headed up to same chord shape, but we're moving just moving it up two frets to the third position. We're moving the second finger, and we'll keep that second finger on reserve for something else later. First finger capo once again, arpeggiate to be sure that we have all of the tones clean. If you have questions about the full finger, the full capo of the guitar, or half capo, or three quarter capo of the guitar, just let me know. We'll we'll dissect it. The next chord is the same as the B flat, but it's a C on fret number three. So finger one on fret three, and we're doing that on the A string, and then we're doing that third finger triple stop here. D, G, and B strings on fret number five. And we're either playing fret number three, where we kind of roll that third finger out of the way, if we can squeak fret three on the high E string underneath that, let's do it. And if we can't, don't worry about it. We have three or four notes out of that chord, it'll sound fine. E minor. So we have open low E, frets two and two, fingers two and three. And then we have open, all of the rest of the strings are open except for the two frets on two on the A and the D strings. So that's good. The next one is a little challenging. We don't play this a whole lot in everyday, um, everyday like life. You know, our musical ventures don't typically include the diminished sequence. But when you're Wilco and you're sort of an art rock band, then you do that kind of stuff. Nice transitional chords, and it's actually a substitute for another chord. But we'll get into that later if you want. Comment below. Um, we have finger two on the fourth fret on the A string. Finger three on fret number five on the D. Finger one on fret number three on the G. And finger four on fret number five on the B, okay, and we're not playing any of the outside strings, the open low E or the high E string. Neither of those are being plucked. As a matter of fact, they're being choked because the right hand technique is, you know, you can be lazier that way. So there are the chords. If you have questions, let me know. Let's move right along.